In this video, we'll discuss the area of triangles. Now, we can use the ideas of the moving and additivity principles to help us recreate the triangle and understand how its area is constructed. For example, if I'm using the moving principle, I could look at this triangle that has a base of three units and a height of four units because of the right angle there, and say, well, if I cut it off midway, and I take that piece and I move it down into that opening, I can see that that actually creates a two by three rectangle. And I can find the area of that rectangle by doing length times width. So three times two equals six. I can also think about it from an additivity principle standpoint, where instead of adding parts, I could make a larger shape and subtract what doesn't exist. So if I take that same triangle, and if I extend out from the two vertices to make it a rectangle, I can say, well, how much of this rectangle is filled in? Well, it's half of it. So one half of three by four or four by three will give me the six units. And this leads to why the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. The key though, is that while in that image we just used, the bottom side did represent the base because that's where the 90 degree angle was. We can choose any of those sides to be our length that we will use as the base. The height will always represent the perpendicular distance from the chosen base to the opposite vertex. That's the key. I can make it work for any of the three sides. So let's look at that. Say we have this triangle here, ABC, and we want to determine the area. Now, most people would say, well, let's use AC as the base because that's an easy measurable side. In this case, it's six units. Now we want to go and create the perpendicular distance to the opposite vertex. So think about it as if you have parallel lines coming through AC and then through point B. Now we're going to make a perpendicular segment up to point B. And now I measure that and I can easily see on this graph that that's four units and four centimeters. Now I have my two measurements, my base and my height. So I would say that the area is one half of six centimeters by four centimeters, which is 12 square centimeters. Now I could use side AB to actually do my measurement as my base. And I would have to use a program like GeoGebra to help me do the measurement, or I'd have to use some different parts of Pythagorean theorem, uh, considering like that it comes out this far distance to measure that segment. We're gonna use GeoGebra as an approximation and say that that's approximately nine and 8,500 centimeters. Then we have to say, well, we want the perpendicular distance from AB to C. So we're going to create segment DC to be perpendicular to AB. Again, we start with those parallel lines and then create the perpendicular segment. And we find that's approximately 2 and 4,400 centimeters. So now when I do my area, that's one half of 9 and 8,500 centimeters times 2 and 4,400 centimeters. And I'm going to use... Since there's three significant digits, I'm going to use three significant digits in my final solution, which is approximately 12 square centimeters. Now, if I can do it with AB, I could also do it with side BC as the base. Again, I can either try to use Pythagorean theorem using the grid to help me get that measurement to get it exact, or I can use something like GeoGebra to give me an approximate measure of five centimeters for BC. Now, I want to create a perpendicular distance from side BC over to A, and we'll create that segment AD. So make the, perp, the parallel line through BC and through A, and now we're going to make that perpendicular up to point A. And again, we'll use GeoGebra to help us measure it, and it'll be approximately 4 and 80 hundredths centimeters. Now I can multiply, and we'll multiply the 5 centimeters by 4 and 80 hundredths centimeters, divide by 2. And using the three significant digits, I'd get that again, it's approximately 12 square centimeters. So whether I used AC, BC, or AB as the base, every time I ended up with the same area of 12 square centimeters. So that's important to recognize we can use any side to find the area of a triangle.